What's up everybody? My name is Nickerson. Thanks for coming back to my channel. As you've seen in the title, we're here for another 30 days of Halloween. And we brought my very special, beautiful, mysterious guest, Moon Maid. Hello. What's How up? are you? Good. How you doing? Pretty great. Same old? Yeah, same old. Tis the season. And uh, today, we're going to talk about Hocus Pocus. She had never actually seen this movie, so we sat down and watched it. What did you think? Someone who's never seen Hocus Pocus, what did you think? I really thought it was magical. It just hit every part from feeling magical and the music and the Disney vibe and the funniness. I laughed so much. It put yeah. me in the mood. It's what I needed for 2020. It's a classic. Bette Midler in that movie is, is unbelievable. I like how they like pursed her lip up and gave her the teeth. Yeah, she looked oh. pretty uh, gruesome, but it Boo -hoo! worked. And she like calls out the book. <laughs> I love that. What I really dumbass. enjoyed right away was the music because, and I thought about this the other day, it made me feel just how Pirates of the Caribbean makes you feel. That music right in the beginning, it just chimes you in and then it panels That's over. True old like houses in the foliage in Salem and we're in Massachusetts yeah that's true uh, I have to I have to say I love that they filmed Hocus Pocus in Salem because they did do that? a lot of what? I didn't know that yeah they did that that actual house is in Salem you can go visit it which is cool you know and um, I like it because a lot of the even the most iconic Halloween movies they're filmed mostly in California if not the whole thing is filmed in California and you're like this is Haddonfield, Illinois. It's like, no, it's not. This is L.A., <laughs> which I thought was cool, which I don't actually know if it's L.A., so, you know, fact check it too. Take a fucking break, all right? Just This video is for fun. Relax. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm glad they filmed it in Salem. Salem is awesome. We go to Salem a lot. Salem's uh, a very interesting town. They even have a, uh, a that Bit Bar. It's uh, like a retro arcade bar. So just shout out to Bit Bar. Always got to mention the video game, but... They have great stuff, too. They do, and they get all gamer-themed drinks. It's a really cool place. But yeah, Salem is awesome. I love that the movie was shot in Salem. That was important to me, and uh, just the nostalgia behind it. Like, you must have felt like almost like an instant nostalgia, sort of, because it's still, like, very 90s. Like, I could, I don't know, because I've seen that movie at least a thousand times, I would imagine. But you must have you must have had that, like, it, it like conjured up the 90s vibe, I'm sure. It really did. It, like, had every everything that you would expect Disney to and everything that, like, you needed for October. If you haven't seen it, which I think I might be one of the few who haven't. I think there's, like, two other people in the world, maybe. I saw one person <laughs> on my Facebook said they haven't, so. All right. Well, you're going to have to send them this video. <laughs> have to see it. it. It hits the vibes. And if you, like, don't even, I don't know, care for October, it just, it's in Salem. You, you will feel now. Massachusetts. It's just the exact vibe that you, you want. And I couldn't, couldn't have asked for more, really. I just... Yeah. Yeah, it's a classic. Um, I think, judging from someone who's seen it so many times, I've noticed I focused on the little events, the little funny little one-liner type of things that you don't notice you always think of the, the the main comedy you know the the funniest parts but like when you watch it again as, as you've seen it so many times you notice little funny parts that are like squeezed between the big you know skits yeah and i was like oh that's that's pretty that's pretty cool to see you know because it's stuff that like you don't consciously think of when you think of the movie but you watch it again you're like oh man like every every line in this movie is a stitch kind of you know and you know what's cool was that guy like super smooth like bus driver dude when oh he, yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh! I forgot about him. He was very smooth. He he knew what he was doing right yeah, away. Yeah, he's like <laughs> the Sanderson sisters, and that's what was so funny is because, like, everyone thought they were just ladies dressing up as the Sanderson sisters, and they they just were the Sanderson sisters. So that it was a nice kind of like, oh yes, you you knew I was coming, right? Like, I really liked each part, um, each sorry witch because each part of them like. You know, being the, the head Winnie and having all of the magic. And then Sarah Jessica Parker looking like a fox. Yeah, and she then was the, dope. the other one, which was, I forget her name, but she was like a dog, which makes me so, <laughs> it makes me laugh so much. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, she was funny. She, she had that like stupid look on his face. Just like the, uh, you know, what I love too is like the, the, the bullies of Max in the movie. One of the best lines ever. He's like, hey, Ernie. He's like, hey, man. 
how many times do I got to tell you? My name ain't Ernie no more. It's Ice. And he's like, oh, this is Ice. And then he turns around. He has it shaved in the back of his head so he doesn't forget, probably. I was like, dude, that is the most classic line. And then when he says, so then before that, he says, like, where, where are you from? And he's like, L.A. And they're like, you know, like, what's that? He's like, Los Angeles. They're like, oh, tubular and i was like dude this is so iconic of a a 90s massachusetts bully like <laughs> the, exactly you guys nailed it like one of them has long blonde hair and like this like <laughs> 80s rocker black leather jacket with steel on it and the other one's just dressed like a half nerd half fat boy punk with like the hat and stuff i was like dude this is he's with the stupid look on his face i was like this is great like watching it again yeah yeah we all know people like those guys at least in mass we do they are uh, they did good. I love the part where they just walk into the devil's house. They're instantly obsessed. And his he, he welcomes it. He's all for it. And his wife is... Yeah, he's like, come on in. It's just like his wife and curlers on the, cou- on the couch with popcorn. They're all about it. And they just, they know exactly what's up on Halloween. And Yeah. The other thing, too, I mean, those, their brooms just get swiped. I mean, what are those kids just swiping them? I mean, maybe oh. Massachusetts? I don't know. Yeah. Just, and, the, and then the big one grabs the vacuum. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, no, I mean when they first put down their brooms Ready? in the street and they're walking. Oh, the yeah, cheating. and the kids grab. <laughs> oh, these are ours now. <laughs> That's awesome. Can't wait for cheating. I still love the vacuum, the big witch. <laughs> she grabbed the vacuum. It was like an auric or some shit. I don't know. That was so funny, too. I, I really like that part. Um, I mean. So classic. It's just such a well-produced movie. Like the soundtrack, like everything, the cinematography, the comedy, the acting, it's, it's just so on point. Like it's one of those movies that is like quintessential Halloween, you know, yes, like very much so. And I'm sad I missed out a bit because I really felt it so, so magical, so nostalgic. Literally Disney knows what to do. They know that they know. <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. It's I, I've noticed that with like with like um, older movies is when I go to watch them and they're like, I have so many, like I'm a huge film nerd. I've watched tons of movies, but there's still a bunch of like core movies because of the circles. I mean, I know I'm going to love them like certain sci-fi, certain horror, and they're just on the back burner. And when I watch them, I'm like, son of a bitch. You know, I want, I wish I watched this when it came out. Cause then it would, you'd also have the nostalgia, but also because like it's cutting edge, like you can kind of tell a, a movie's older between the lighting, and everything. It's like, it's, it's great to see him. It's still, you know, it doesn't take away from the movies. It's just like one of the things when you watch a, an old movie, you're like, oh, like, you love it and you're like, oh, that's sad because I fucking love this movie. <laughs> I should have watched it. Dumbass! <laughs> like, <laughs> but yeah, I totally know that feel. And then a couple funny parts when they're walking, um, you know, that's definitely me after leg day, just how the witches are walking. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, dum, good dum, good dum. And they just like walk like they're like half waddling, half praying yeah. on something. The other thing that was my really favorite, I definitely was when Bette Mid- Midler goes into the event with the parents and she just understands the vibe, takes over the stage. Then she casts a spell on everybody that you're dancing till you're dead. And I yeah. personally want that spell on me. I love it to is. dance. That was funny. It looked like, you know, it looked like once they cast a spell, it looked like everybody was just rolling and they were like, dooch, 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 dooch. I was like, yo, I've been to some of those parties. <laughs> I've DJed some of those parties. <laughs> it's yeah, like, that was it's awesome. a great time. And then your favorite, you might want a tattoo of him. The zombie. Oh yeah, that, that was awesome. The the guy with the his mouth shot. I, I love how when he, he cut his mouth open in the fur, he's like, Pfft. you know, like a hundred years of bad breath, and he's like, wench. <laughs> like the first thing he said was wench. I was like, dude, awesome. That's... That is that is classic. Oh man, what a good movie. That I mean, obviously, if you're watching this, you you knew Hocus Pocus was coming. You just didn't know when. You know doing horror movies but we had to do hocus pocus too especially with a guest that had never seen it i was like you know what moon made you gotta hop on this because like i don't know anybody who hasn't seen this movie <laughs> at least three thirty times like let alone ever <laughs> i mean but, and it was the 90 it was 93 it came out right i mean that was when i was I born remember. so 
still why it's the best year ever. But yeah, it must have been it. <laughs> I love like even the black flame. That was cool. Like I mean, I don't know what the exact cinematography, but it was still good for. But the black flame candle, yeah, that was a nice nice touch. <laughs> oh, great movie! I'm glad you. I'm glad you came out. I'm glad you talked yeah. about it, and yeah. glad you finally saw it. More importantly, me too. And important. seriously, watch it. I mean, I hope we didn't give too much away, but. No, no, it's fine. Everybody's seen it. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. You're the only one it could have been spoiled for. <laughs> so. But yeah, thanks again for coming out. Yeah. This is Moon Maid. You'll see her again. I just want to thank you all for watching. What's your favorite Halloween movies? What's your favorite horror movies? Leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks again. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Except one thing.